John says, hey, Michael and Ryan, what is the best budget processor that can give me the 13 to 15 channels for speakers plus four sub outputs? I think we addressed this maybe even on the last podcast, too. So we'll hit that pretty quick. There isn't a budget processor for 13 channels. <laughs> or 15 well, no, speakers. you do an AVR with pre out <laughs> would probably be what you would do. 13 channels. The cheapest way I know to get into that is a thing called Tone Winner. Mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. is that 11 or 13? I think it's 13, isn't it? I think Tone Winner has 16, a 16, isn't it? 16? They have a 16. Okay. Yeah. That might and be there, right. There's even yeah, another... I've heard their software is kind of weird. Well, but uh, yeah, you, that. you did say it's budget, like, cheapest way. 1200 mm-hmm. 1500 bucks. Anyone remember what it is exactly? It's in that neighborhood. Yeah. It's under know. two grand. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's it's well under two grand. And then and if it, you want to go to a major player, you got the Denon X6700 for 13 channels, which is probably cheap. Emotiva has a 13 channel, I think, mm-hmm. that's fairly yeah. inexpensive, 16 channel even. And now you're stepping up. If you want 15 channels, now you're paying through the nose. You're going to mm-hmm. be paying like five grand for anything with 15 channels pretty much, except for Monoprice maybe. Monoprice might be the exception at 4000 so this might be another option where I'm not familiar with them other than just the name. I can't even pronounce it, but I Otavix, something like that. So it's a 17 channel processor. It's 1790 or 1699. I don't know if that's US currency or I've never even heard currency. of this one. Mm-mm. Yeah. So this is a it, fairly new. I've seen a couple guys do um, some videos on there, except I don't know how to. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Take a look at the back. So there's your four subwoofers. One, two, three, four right there. I know nothing about this thing. Yeah, I never even heard of that brand. This is definitely one of those budget options. So maybe check them out. I-O-T-A-V-X. Again, I know nothing about them, but there are a few people on um, YouTube that have some videos on that. So again, just might be a resource there for you. The closest I can get at a budget with <clears throat> reputable companies is going to be something <laughs> like a, like a cinema 50 in pre-out mode using, mm-hmm. I think it's 11.4. When you start mm-hmm. getting to 13, it gets more difficult and you start yeah. paying, paying a little bit more. You said the yeah. 6,700 does that, Jonathan. X 6,700 yeah. has 13 channels. And there's not, I don't think there's a new replacement mm-hmm. for that yet. Is there? No, right. the 6800 is delayed. I yeah. think it will come out this year, later this year. Yeah, a lot of guys were saying the same thing in the chat. So Tone Winner, IOTA. So that's probably your two budget-friendly ones. I always just shy away from those, mainly because of customer service. Like, I have no idea what's going to happen there. So the, I think the thing is... is probably going to be non-existent on both of those. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those things. I mean, not everybody's got the budget for separates, and, and maybe that's not the best way to go. You might be better off, like Ryan said, doing um, just a nicer AVR, using it as a processor. Don't use the internal amplification. Use XLR. You probably on a on an AVR. Most of them have just um, RCA, but use RCA out. Go into your amplifiers and, and do it that way. Um, and like Jayhawk says, the eighty eight hundred five is definitely not budget, but he loves it for sure. But isn't the eighty eight hundred five? 13.2? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So 15, he's looking for 15 to 17 channels. So he's looking to 15 plus four. Yeah. So effectively what the AV10 is delivering. Yeah. And then that's not budget friendly at all. That's what, seven, eight grand roughly? Maybe seven, less. Seven map, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. Is it seven? Is it more than that? I thought they were seven, but maybe I not. have no idea. Yeah. I'd have to go look. Yeah. So they're, they're pretty, pretty on up there. It's not entry level though. No, no, nope. for sure. But hopefully that'll give you some information there, John. Wait Ryan's a minute. Here. SRW with 1000 says HTB1 gets you 16 total and up to five subs. No. That doesn't make sense. Isn't it a 16 channels? It's 16 and 16 channels total. 15 and a mini DSP might get you that way, I guess. But Let us know, SRW1000. Where do you, where do you get that from? And up to five subs. I thought it was a 16 channel. I think processor. it is 16 channel. That's processor. what I thought too. Well, take a look at it. Pull it up. HTTP-1. That, that makes too much sense, Michael. Why would we do that? Well, we could just, <laughs> hey, we're yeah. all about... We could just look about, confused. Yeah. We're all about education <laughs> here. Let's look at the rear of it. Let's see what it offers. And while I'm doing that, if he adds it in the chat, that'll be good. Here we go. Monolith. 
we don't want to sign up for your email newsletter. So there's the rear. Yep. yep. Two subs over here. That's 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 16 XLR out. Okay. So maybe we're missing something. He says the five subs take up five of the 16 channels on the HTP one. Well, then you're at 11 channels. Yeah. yeah. So unless you end up using the RCA is up here. Those and are then maybe, ports. maybe he's saying 16 total <laughs> and of those 16, five of them can be subs. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that's where they're Oh, he does say that. So 11 plus five subs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you could use all 16 channels and then use RCA sub outs. No, that's trigger outs. Where's yeah. the sub outs? There aren't any. It's they're Everything all like else is it. Okay, so never mind. Yeah. I, I saw the four. I'm like, oh yeah, that's our no, that's those are trigger outs. 12.4 or 12 12 volt triggers. 